okay. So I've low-key been scared of making this video because I know for a fact that the words Hooters and Simon Cowell show up somewhere in my Yale application. And uh, I don't remember exactly what else awaits me in these essays, but I've decided that if it can help even one person with their essays, it's worth exposing myself. So let's go, let's get started. Hello. So my name is Anna Reynoso and today I'm gonna be reading the kind of, I think, unconventional-ish essays that thankfully got me into Yale. College application deadlines are just a few days away, so we have no time to waste, so I'ma just jump right to it. So I applied to Yale regular decision through the Common App. And on top of writing the Common App essay that goes out to all of the schools that I applied to, I also had to write specific Yale supplements, which are essentially just extra essays that are specific to that school. So Yale had, I believe eight supplemental essays. So those are the essays that I'm gonna be reading today and just kind of commenting on why I chose those specific topics and just kind of the general advice related to them. So I have my computer right here, I'm gonna be reading them. And then I'll also put the like text over so it's easier for you to read if you want. So the first essay asks about um, academic interest. So uh, first part in the application, it asks you to list a couple of your potential majors. And then after it asks you about why you chose them. So the specific prompt in the application simply says, why do these areas appeal to you? And you have a hundred words to respond to it. So I wrote, my fascination with astrophysics was sparked seven years ago by a YouTube video in which 12 year old genius Jacob Barnett demonstrated his extensive knowledge of astrophysics. Immediately, I fell in love, no, not with Jacob, with astrophysics. At the age of 10, <laughs> I started researching dark energy and watching astronomy lectures online. After learning new concepts, I'd write equations and diagrams in a small blue notebook. My notes mostly contained variables and drawings of wormholes and look like gibberish. It's exhilarating that there's always something new to discover. We might never learn all of the universe's secrets, but I'll never stop asking questions. So that was my first essay response. So so with that essay, I just really wanted to show kind of my passion and dedication because something as simple as a YouTube video kind of piqued my interest when I was 10 and I have pushed myself to pursue this subject for the past eight years. And not really pushed myself, but it's something that I've genuinely been passionate about and love and kind of, I guess, showing that whole, like almost half my life, I've loved and stuck with this passion. I just wanted to go back to where it all started to demonstrate that kind of pure, raw curiosity and where it stemmed from. I think for my potential major, I just wrote astrophysics or astronomy. I think I put both, I think both are an option. And also the reason why I chose this particular moment is because the moment I got interested in it makes for a nice story. And for me, when I was writing all of my college essays, the story element of it was essential. Can I write this in a very descriptive way? Like given the word limit, can I write this in a way that my admissions officers can actually picture me just going through life and picture me as a person? And that, I think that was a very kind of different, sweet moment that, I don't know if sweet, actually, I don't know. It was a very important moment in my life and one that I thought would make for a nice story. I liked the visuals that I could create with that, like with the blue notebook and just kind of sitting at a computer screen. So my main advice to you is you wanna make sure that you're conveying your passion and curiosity and that you're telling a story in a way that literally comes alive in the minds of your admissions officers. Because when they can picture you in whatever story you choose to tell you become a person in their mind rather than just a name on a piece of paper which is just the most valuable thing you can do with your application I, my second essay was the why Yale essay so the way they phrased it is what is it about Yale that has led you to apply and it's 125 words and so this is what I wrote. Yale's focus on and. I'd obtain a degree in the subject I specifically love, astrophysics. Even the Department of Astronomy's research in high energy astrophysics focuses on my specific interest, black holes. Through Yale's science, technology, and research scholars, STARS program, I'd eagerly absorb research experience and embrace a tight-knit STEM family. And I'd pursue my passion for comedy to laugh or not to laugh, that is the Viola question. 
This comedy troupe's focus on audience interaction propelled my desire to join the VQ. I'd love collaborating with like-minded students who are driven by passion, long to create positive change in the world, and don't mind sharing quesadillas at a buttery. I never want to give up any of my passions, and at Yale, I'd never have to. So, for that one, that was kind of an easy... No, not it wasn't an easy, it was a hard essay to write because... Blah, because it's a college essay. But, what I will say, this, you just have to be very honest and genuine about what draws you to the school and why you really want to be there, which means you're gonna have to really dig deep within yourself. So that idea of and is what I started with because that's genuinely what drew me to Yale. I remember getting letters from them and emails from them in high school and they kind of, I guess, advertise themselves with that idea of and. Like this small community within a large research university, they have liberal arts, but also offer STEM research opportunities. And that idea of and I think is very central to my life because I'm very passionate about both STEM and arts. And so that idea of and really drew me to Yale. So that's what I kind of centered my essay around. Like moving forward in life, I don't want to give up either one, either part of my life. So I wanted to convey that. I did hours upon hours upon hours upon hours of research when I was looking for these specific things that I mention in my essays and that's something that you want to make sure you're doing you want to really dig deep in their website and see what draws you to the school as I said in my astrophysics essay I infinitely curious about black holes wormholes kind of that cosmology aspect of astrophysics so I dug deep in their astronomy website spent so many countless hours looking through and seeing what drew me to it what I really was interested in and so you just wanna kind of draw out what clicks for you with the school and show them why you fit together, what you love about it. Be so specific so that you show them that you are truly passionate about attending the school and you're not just writing some general vague thing that you can send out to any school. You wanna be as specific to that school as possible. Yale specifically is extremely focused on community and I wanted to emphasize my own focus on community in that last bit of the essay to show that I love Love that this is not just a school this is a home this is a place that I want to grow with other people so I just wanted to fit that in there so that was it for that essay I'm gonna go on to the next one which basically asks about a topic that you're interested in this was actually my absolute favorite essay to write this is the most me essay I wrote like the words just flowed when I started writing it it was insane the specific prompt was think about an idea or topic that has been intellectually exciting for you why are you drawn to it? And it's 250 word limit. My response was, forget Maleficent, Cruella de Vil, and Jafar. The supervillains in my story are called Yellow Six and Blue Two, and my ultimate arch nemesis, Red Forty. Every week when my mom and I buy groceries, she'll ask me something like, can we get these cookies? I'll mercilessly scan the ingredients list, disapprovingly shake my head at its sugar content, and regretfully state, like Simon Cowell, it's a no from me. <clears throat> Pardon, it's no from me. My mom would jokingly ask, what are we gonna eat? Ever. I dissect nutritional labels and conjure up articles about preservatives that shall not be named in hopes of decoding the unnecessarily complex words that plague ingredients lists. Rather than accepting the skimpy portions of information listed on packages, I feast on the buffet of information available online to discover the unknowns I seek to understand. Through extensive research, I've learned about potential carcinogens like butylated hydroxinosol, BHA, countless other preservatives silently threaten families, and it's infuriating how inaccessible this crucial information is. My fear of consuming potentially deadly additives has proven to be a powerful motivator. I'm terrified of losing my mom, who's all I have in the world. Protecting my mom is my priority, so my passion for food is how I'm there for her. To defeat these villainous additives, the only superpower I need is the ability to spread awareness and ignite in others a sense of curiosity that motivates them to investigate what they consume. As long as I continue researching my enemies, my inner sleeping foodie will live happily ever after. That was it. That was my essay. It's by far my favorite. I sprinkled in some Harry Potter references, food references, Disney references, superhero references. There's a Hidden Friends reference. There's a little bit of everything. I don't know what that was, but a little bit of everything from my life 
in that essay. It's just the most me thing that I've written. So with my essays, I stri like my goal was to just be happy with them to the point that even if I didn't get in, I was just genuinely happy to have been able to capture and encapsulate these kind of essential parts of my life. Um, and this was an essay that I was really happy with. I had the most fun in the universe writing. Why I chose it, food safety has been a part of my life for the longest time. Actually, it dictates so much of my life, like the shopping trip that I described, that's a typical like shopping day with my mom that she'll be like, oh, we should get this. Oh, we should get that. And like, I mean, I'm a kid. I'm like, oh, my heart, my heart yearns those cookies. Like I want the goods, but at the same time, my brain is like, mm, are you sure about that? Like that aspect that I talk about like protecting my mom that is the main motivator of i'm constantly thinking like okay this is good but in the end if it's gonna harm my mom's health in any way then i'm gonna be there to say i'm sorry but i don't think we should get it subconsciously is a huge part of my life because i'm always thinking about it even my mom said like oh yeah i think you should definitely write about that because like that's a big thing in your life. And my advice to you, like something like this, it doesn't seem like groundbreaking or insanely like a wonderful story to tell. And it's a thousand percent okay to write about the most mundane things. Sometimes those are the best essay topics because it's something so simple and so central to your life. The important thing is how you tell your story, but it gives admissions officers the biggest insight into what your daily life is like. And that's what they wanna know, what your daily life is like, what your routine is like, what you do, what you're like as a person. So don't be scared of like me. This is kind of a weird kind of different essay topic to write about. And the way that I wrote it, was not the most conventional, I think. I just went for it. <laughs> Try to just have fun with it is my biggest piece of advice and be yourself. So for the next essay, there's a point in the application where you're asked to pick between two prompts. One is about like how you want your college experience to help you address an issue of like national or international importance, something like that. I did not feel qualified to tackle that prompt. And plus the prompt that I actually chose fit better with who I am as a person and it just was more naturally. So I picked the other prompt, which is, reflect on your engagement with a community to which you belong. How do you feel you have contributed to this community? And you get 250 words to write this essay. So what I wrote is, every Sunday at 11 a.m., my heart breaks. As my mom and I drive downtown towards the cathedral, I spot clusters of people in ragged clothes sitting on the streets beside their belongings. They often hold signs conveying heartbreaking messages. Cathedral to Mexican community, which has become an extension of our family, provides unconditional support for my project, Help the Homeless, which helps provide food to those facing homelessness. Many people within this community are immigrants from low-income households. Although they have less than most, they try to give back more than others. Because my mom has always taught me to be selfless, I immensely admire their dedication to helping others. Whenever someone needs help, everyone unites to support them. My mom and I grieved with the Sunday school coordinator after a family member passed away and we made soup for a teacher at Sunday school when she caught the flu. I firmly believe in the importance of small gestures. Kind actions make people feel recognized, loved, and empowered to pay forward the monumental difference they silently experience. So, through small yet powerful actions, I aim to impact others. In return, my family at Cathedral has helped me address an issue that breaks my heart by contributing to the Help the Homeless project. At Cathedral, I'm a sister and a niece to people I met four years ago, and I'm infinitely grateful to play a role in this community that I call family. I chose to write about this particular community because it's the one that has felt the most like family to me to me there's nothing stronger than your love for family so I just kind of love the connection between family and community and I knew there are several ways that I could show um, our kind of routine in a way that my admissions officer could visualize the way we come through for each other as a family and I also just wanted to write about these people that mean the world to me and kind of express my gratitude while reflecting on the past four years with my familia at the cathedral. Okay, so the last essay I'm gonna read are the short takes. So there's four short takes. So there's four prompts. Each one has to be, like every prompt you have to answer in 200 characters, which is insane, but you have 200 characters to answer each prompt. So I'm gonna start with the first one that simply asks, what inspires you? 
So I responded, laughter is therapeutic. It can instill hope in those facing heartache, illness, and war. Its power motivates me to impact others' lives through comedy. I want to help the world heal through laughter. So why I chose that topic was over the past couple of years or so, I've been getting more into actually performing comedy. That's another central part of my life that I've realized, especially over the last couple of years, that like when I make someone laugh, I feel, well, probably everyone, when you make someone laugh, you feel really, you feel good. But to me, I feel like, like literally nothing in the universe feels better than making someone laugh because to me, I think I'm making them happy. Through laughter, I can make someone happy. And I've realized how priceless that is. It's just something that's been very important to me. I grew up watching comedy shows, comedy movies, and comedy itself has been very important to my life. And I think that when it said, what inspires you, that prompt to me made me think of what what keeps you moving. And to me, in a way it's laughter because that when I'm down, laughter brings me up and I see comedy as a way to just, it's a way for me to keep moving through life and trying to do a little bit of good in the world. And so I knew that that is what inspires me. But that was just to me what fit naturally with the prompt. The next short take uh, that is, Yale's residential colleges regularly host conversations with guests representing a wide range of experiences and accomplishments. What person, past or present, would you invite to speak? What question would you ask? I remember I went through so many people, but this is what I ended up writing. I'd ask comedian and neuroscientist Mayim Bialik, beyond shows like The Big Bang Theory, how can comedy and STEM intersect? I've tried determining how to combine both passions and I'd love for help. I wanted to show how I want to combine both of my passions, not just how I see STEM and art as two separate entities that are a part of my life, but rather than I want to combine them, which I think is a bit even more non-traditional. This is my life goal, to combine STEM and comedy in some way. And that was my most genuine response, like in a sense of like, that is the most pressing question of my life in a way that I want answered. <laughs> so I just, I thought of who has combined STEM and comedy. And I thought, I love the Big Bang Theory. So I thought I would ask Maya and Bialik, like what other ways can these two vastly different fields be combined? All right. So the next one, the next prompt just says, you are teaching a Yale course, what is it called? So I wrote, black holes, universal delicacies. And yes, we do eat gummy worms while dissecting wormholes, pasta while defining spaghettification, and microwave popcorn while analyzing Hawking radiation. So I wanted to go beyond just doing a title and kind of adding a bit more into it. This one was to add a bit of my personal flair, my personality, as well as that's just my genuine answer. If I were to teach a course, it would be on black holes and I love food so like any way I can combine food and my class I'm gonna do it so I just thought I just would love to teach this class so that's what I wrote so the last short take is this is the prompt most first year Yale students live in suites of four to six people what do you hope to add to your sweet mates experience what do you hope they'll add to yours so I wrote photos of food fill my phone when I ate 35 wings at Hooters and 10 tacos in Mexico, so I can later savor precious moments. I hope they're eager to combine our quirky habits to create new traditions. So I think this, my response was rooted in the idea of traditions, and I brought in that element of the camera and taking pictures, because I always am taking pictures of food and videos ever since I got my first iPod in like elementary school. And to me, I've always been very hyper aware of the importance of preserving memories. That's like the most precious thing to me. And so I really wanted to convey that in my application because it's first of all, a very important part of who I am. And second of all, I wanted to just bring more of that of say, I'm not just a student, I'm a person um, and bring more of that kind of humanity into it and kind of, I guess, connect to my admissions reader in that way. Like it might not seem like a lot that I said in those, like the, that short, like 200 characters, but to me, like when I read it back, I remember those moments, I remember those traditions. So you wanna make sure they're very personal to you, you No, know, that no one else could really say. So to me, those are very valuable moments in my life. They're kind of random things, but, but they're important to me. I just wanted to convey my focus on preserving memories and traditions, you know, and just how that fits in with my sweet mates and just like sprinkle in some of my personal wackiness into it. So those were the eight supplemental essays that I wrote when I was applying to Yale University that thankfully got me into the college. I hope that hearing my essays has helped as a bit of inspiration as you're navigating the whole essay writing process. 
And just remember, please don't copy any part of my essays because they have them, they know what I wrote and that I wrote them. And if you copy them, that would end very badly for you and nobody wants that. Just hope they can help you get those juices flowing. Also, remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you know when I post new videos. Your support truly means the world to me. Thank you so much. Good luck with applications. I'll see you next time and stay Gutenberg.